Yo, it's your boy. Today we are reacting to how Penny Hardaway used to cook Michael Jordan. They said he used to cook Mike, by the way. Penny definitely was supposed to be the next Magic Johnson, but we all know how that turned out. It sucks, really. You know what I'm saying? Good defensive job on Hardaway so far in this third quarter. Hardaway onto Lamb. Hardaway on the front way roll. They got this is Dominique Wilkins. This is Sarah Kelly. Hey, did it start this all? Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Baker. Hey, Sean, what's up? 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 Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to talk about how Anthony Penny Hardaway was a matchup nightmare for Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. And even though MJ is my favorite player of all time, fans were super mad that the Orlando Magic traded away Chris Webber, who was a sure superstar, in return for Penny Hardaway, who most fans had never heard of. Also, the Orlando Magic already had a more than solid point guard in Scott Skiles, so why would they need another one? Well, it wouldn't take long for everybody to see that Penny Hardaway was the real deal. He was something that we did not know we needed. A tall point guard who could literally do it all. Just like Magic Johnson, but a way better shooter. Penny was the perfect sidekick for Shaquille O'Neal, and this was just a dream combination and an NBA fan. This is a young man that really had to put the I two or three positions of under control. A talented player, obviously. 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 Now, as we all know, back in the days, players were way more competitive, and Anthony Penny Hardaway was just the same way, especially when it came to playing against Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. But yeah, let's see what he has to say. What was it like going against MJ during that period of time? You know, it was so weird because you know we were all fans before we got to the league. When we when we got there, he wasn't in the league. He came back. And I was kind of like, I'm the big dog. <laughs> I already stuffed myself. I mean, Michael is Michael, but yeah, you don't have to show me. You know, basically that's what that was my mentality because like, I had already been in the league and established myself. But quickly playing the Bulls, you could just tell he was rusty, but you could tell he was a bad dude, man. You just you, the respect was always there. But my thing was, you have to attack him before he attacked you. But. All we did was piss him off. Now for those of you who also play basketball, you probably know that there are always certain players that for whatever reason you can't guard them. And sometimes you don't even know why. So every player has that one or two guys that for whatever reason it just doesn't work out on defense. And with Penny Hardaway, Micah Jordan and Scotty Pippen always used to have huge problems. And I can okay, with Penny it's a little bit different. I know exactly why. But in the next clips, I want to show you some of the highlights where Penny really destroyed Pippen and Jordan. You're a baby, Mike. You're a baby. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't think Penny cooked Mike. I didn't. Like, this is news to me. That's why I wanted to react to this. Okay. 
Bitch. Bitch. Stand back too. Oh shit. Oh shit. He ain't have to step back on him. And he went to spin and then oh my lord. Nah, Penny. He was shitting on they whole squad. Yeah, he was just one of them niggas they had no answer for. That was a backboard, so get off the of mic. Basket. Now he was really cooking the thing. Basket. That's why the Magic beat him the first time. They couldn't stop him. Well, not couldn't stop him. They couldn't do nothing. Isolated against the Anderson. Give me this shit, bitch. He's still showing highlights, let's me know. Mike couldn't fuck with Penny. Like, like, what, like, what else? What else needs to be said? Bro, he's been showing highlights for like two, three minutes. Nah, I don't say three minutes. This has been about two and a half minutes, bro. He's been shitting on him this whole time. Look, that's great defense. Now, that's great defense. He just don't have no answer for it. I don't think he would have challenged Michael like this. Michael's still one of the better defensive players. Hardaway has the ability to get in the lane and at 6'7", elevate over Michael Jordan. Right. He is an inch taller. He's outscored Michael 12 to 6 in this ballgame. Wow. Side Wide open. Michael Jordan with the ball. Michael Jordan with the ball. Wide open. Wide open. Really, Pippen? Really, Pippen? Really? Now, as we all know, Penny Hardaway's career did not end on a high note. Why? Because of his unfortunate injuries. And I gotta be honest, from all the players that had a cut short career, Penny Hardaway is still, even until today, my favorite player. And I, I think he's special. I think he really Hi, was yeah. special. Even until today, I've never seen a player with like that him. skill set who looked the way, who played that way. I think Penny Hardaway was just simply one of a kind. But let's take a look at his career end. I couldn't run the same. My gait changed. Wasn't making all star games anymore. I said for me, it was disappointing. You know, because I wasn't getting the respect that I once had gotten. Hardaway on the bench. I went from being first team all NBA to probably third team, and then after that, just off the map. Damn. I get traded from the Suns to the uh, to the Knicks. Try to salvage some type of career. And then he comes right across. That ankle just rolls over. Then went to the Miami Heat. Like a year later, made that team, made the starting lineup. After that, I went back, tried out for a couple other teams. Nobody really took me seriously after that, though. It was like my name had already gone down, and I don't think anybody wanted to deal with it anymore. Like he was going to set all the record records there, and poof, he was gone. Did y'all want to play the Bulls in the playoffs when he retired? Man, you know, the, the biggest thing was when M first came back, and I was like, he's back. Like, I wanted to play against MJ, and then he retired before I came into the league. Then when I came into the league, he comes mm. back. So my first mindset is... That's a smooth-ass step back. Damn, MJ's back. And then I sat down and said, <laughs> I sat down and said real quick, like, all right, we got to go in his ass. You got right. to get his respect. Because this is my favorite player, along with Matt. Matthew was number one, but MJ, who, who didn't like MJ? So when he came back... And we played them for the first time. It don't surprise me, Magic is very clear. I got the best of him and Pip that game. I think I had 36. And I was so, Ooh. I didn't even sleep that night because I was so hyped and ready to play that game. And we won, but I think I only pissed him off. I pissed him off. <laughs> Penny Hardaway is a legend. Penny Hardaway is definitely one of my favorite players of all time. And especially for another reason that is because he couldn't get the shine. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, his body just didn't hold up, which sucks. Um, 
I definitely feel like if he was able to stay healthy, he would go down as the greatest point guard of all time. Or one of, you know what I mean? But more videos on the way. Thank y'all for all support. Shit means the world to me. Subscribe if you're new. If you don't, fuck you. Yeah. Hey! Come back! Hi. You already know, man. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, man. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Look ugly, boy. That's why I walk around the way I do, man. I don't be worrying about none of these motherfuckers, man. Word up, man. God is my motherfucking bodyguard. Word the mother.